Hey guys! Today I'm reviewing Zeus Brundle's route from Wizardous Heart Plus. So before we jump in, I just want to give you guys a brief overview of what this review video entails and how I grade. This video is split into three sections, the opening, the general review section, and then the spoiler section. The general review section is spoiler free, but because this is a comprehensive review, I need a spoiler section where I go into more depth. Timestamps for each section are in the description box, but I'll also give a verbal cue when it's time to switch over. The other thing I want to discuss briefly is how I grade. I give routes three different grades, a grade for romance, a grade for story, and then an overall grade. That's all kind of self-explanatory, so let's get into the review. Wizardous Heart is a dating sim where players assume the role of Liz Hart, name changeable, a wizard is attending the Gedaloon Royal Magic Academy. So the game is kind of split into two chunks. Seasons 1 through 5 you can play in any order, but from Zeus's route on, the routes must be played in a specific order. Zeus's route is the first one, so I don't need to get you guys up to speed on what's happened before since it's not relevant. However, what you do need to know is that the academy is split into two student bodies, the day class and the night class. The day class studies traditional magic, while the night class studies natural dark magic. The love option of this route, Zeus, is a prefect for the night class. His character design is something I like to call a Salmer classic because a lot of characters have a similar design. He's got a deeper skin tone and periwinkle hair. He's also very muscular and fairly tall. Personality-wise, he's... something. He's rude, says whatever comes to mind, and is very much a believer of my way or the highway. He gets jealous very easily and needs to be the best at everything. On the other side of the coin, he doesn't necessarily mean to pick fights with people, he's goofy, and deep down, he genuinely means well, although he has problems being honest and communicating his true intentions. I will say that, um, at some points in this route, Zeus does say some misogynistic things and verbally sexually harasses the MC twice, so... Yeah, that's really shitty and does not make me like him. <laughs> Building off of what I said earlier, Zeus's route is the first of the chronological storytelling in this game. The game starts off with the main character becoming a second year student and becoming a candidate for Prefect. To become a Prefect, one must go through a series of trials. The main character's judge is Night Class Prefect Zeus, who is supposed to help her prepare for the trials and then judge how she does on them. Zeus, however, is not the kind of guy to spoon-feed help to people and the MC is basically on her own, but Zeus insists on inserting himself into her life because he's her judge. As the MC goes through her trials, she slowly becomes closer to Zeus and begins to uncover some of the secrets the Night Class hides. Zeus and the MC's couple dynamic is... also something. <laughs> Zeus is a very jealous person and doesn't like the MC showing interest in others, and in turn she gets jealous over other girls who she thinks might be close to Zeus. They also fight a lot. In the later parts of the route, I'd say it's more bickering, but Jesus, before that, it's just downright vitriolic. Zeus loves teasing the MC and getting her flustered and angry. We'll come back to that. The MC holds her own against Zeus and calls him out on most of his bullshit and argues with him a lot. However, she's the calmer and collected one out of the two, while he's pretty impulsive and goes headfirst into trouble. I wouldn't say they have the most healthy dynamic. It does get better, but, like... Zeus is purposefully trying to make the MC mad, and also, the MC does things to purposefully hurt Zeus's feelings, and it's like... When I first read this route when it came out in 2017, I was like, yeah, Liz, you go. But now in the year of our Lord, Malleus Draconia 2021, I'm just horrified. Like, that's not healthy. It's understandable. But oh my God, what are you doing? Please go to therapy, both of you. I am begging you to both go to couples therapy. And like, I also have to admit this route made me a little skeptical of the MC. Like, she does apologize later on, but like, oh my God. When I first graded this, I rated each chapter out of 10 and then added everything, made it a percent, that sort of thing. It originally earned an overall 59%, which is an F. <laughs> this is factoring both romance and story, more skewing towards romance for reasons I'll get into in a moment. I think I need to say that one, these are just my opinions, and two, this route had a lot of stuff I personally hate, which is a part of the reason why this route did so poorly in my opinion. So if you're listening and noticing I'm not saying a lot of good things, that's correct, because I was quite literally miserable reading this route. But after thinking about it, I decided to go with the split grade system, and I'm gonna give the romance an F, the story a B, and the route overall a D. So let's talk, starting with romance. 
I'm not a fan of the way Zeus and the MC bickered in the beginning of this route. I like bickering in sarcastic couples, but I felt like their fighting was just so vitriolic and purposefully awful. It made me not like Zeus, and so on top of this, I had a really hard time connecting with him because he was a jerk. Why would I want to date someone who from the get-go is being horrible to me? And while the MC usually holds her own, it was just exhausting to read and not kidding. I would read two chapters at a time and then have to go play Animal Crossing for hours because I needed to relax and also take a break from the aggression. And this is why the route got such bad marks from me. The romance with Zeus is so central to the story that, although the story itself is fine, I was utterly miserable reading this route because of the romance and it ruined most of the route for me. And like, Zeus's kindness is shown in the route, but it's shown so late into the game that it's just too late. Like, I reread this route in a couple of hours, and my first read was over several days, and the pacing on that Zeus is actually nicer than he looks reveal was just way too late and did serious damage. At that point, it's like, okay, it's nice to see he's not as terrible, but it's so late that I can't go from he's awful to he's great because too much time has passed, and frankly, he's done too much. The bickering does get softer and more in line with what I like, but I really just can't stress how exhausting and distressing reading the first, like, two-thirds of this route is. Like, this is the bulk of Zeus and the MC's relationship, so I was not having a great time. I really think the execution in that case was not great, and to be honest, this is my biggest problem with the route. Zeus isn't a great guy, and his execution was also not great. I also think the progression of attraction was not well done. I can't say too much, but it felt like the MC is wanting to kill him to then all of a sudden being like, oh, I like him and he makes me smile, which I'll go more into in the spoiler section, but yeah, it felt really abrupt for the MC. Zeus, you could see he was having a crush, but on the MC side, it felt really rushed. So let's talk about the story. I really like the story of the route, and I think the pacing is good. The story progresses very naturally when it comes to events, and my problems with the romance aside, I like the story and I think it's compelling. It has a good mix of slice of life elements while setting up future routes and having a cool little fantasy adventure plotline. There are some things I would change in the route, but I understand why the writers made the choices they did, and overall, most of my problems with the story are kind of nitpicky. I can't really go into too much detail about the plot in this section, so... That's all I have to really say about it. It's good and the story without the romance is very enjoyable. It's just the romance makes this exhausting to read and that did hinder its score. My other serious gripe with this route is that in my opinion, this is a route where you really need to pay attention to the small details when it comes to the romance. Admittedly, I hated Zeus when this route first came out and to be honest, I still don't care for him all that much. I don't hate him as much, but he's definitely not one of my favorites. This route is full of a lot of small details that are kind of hidden or mostly implicit to be honest. So you really need to read, pay attention to the details, and analyze the romance in order for things to make more sense when it comes to characterization. I do think the execution fell flat in some places, but this is hard to say without spoilers. I'll say the trains of thought do make sense in this route, but it's so subtle and you have to really think about it and reflect on it. And in my opinion, that just wasn't good for a route like this where the love interest is so awful and rude in the beginning. When you first read it, or if you aren't paying super close attention, things seem even more abrupt and it's just not great. Like, I'm reading something, I want to pay attention to the details to figure out the plot's mysteries or foreshadowing, which does happen in this route, like I'll give them that. But I don't want to do that when it comes to the romance. To just elaborate further, like, when you do have those moments of looking back and you're thinking about it and you're like, okay, I kind of see what they were going for. Like, the whole thing is still so abrupt and those little moments are so few that it just, it was really poorly executed. Like, I... You know what, I'm just gonna say it in this. As much as I have problems with Zeus, I honestly kind of think the writers did him dirty and the execution just was not there. Do I think Zeus's route could have worked? Yes. I do wish they hadn't made him say those things that are kind of sexist. I don't feel like that's really an important part of his character and it never... Well, I'm not going to say it never comes up in other routes, but I don't really remember any other parts and other routes where he says something that's kind of sexist. It's only in this route, and it's like, why did you have to put that in? Like, you can be rude to someone without being misogynistic, you know? And I really just did not enjoy this route. 
I wanted to like this route and I had been so excited for it when it first came out because I had started playing the game in the July before this route came out and I was so excited and god just the ball was so dropped on the romance like if Zeus had some tweaks in his personality this route would have been very very good but just the way things were executed and the weird traits they put into his personality for this route specifically just were not good. But yeah, like, the weird things they put into his personality for, like, just this route were not good. And it's one of those cases of, like, I don't know if it's he's the victim of bad writing. And then the writers were like, oh, crap. Uh, we kind of did a little goofy with this. And so now we have to kind of not retcon it, but we have to, like, change it a little. Which... I have mixed feelings about. I do think Zeus's character development over other routes is good, but like the whole weird misogyny thing is just. Ugh. And then like I don't really remember him being misogynistic in other routes and saying shit like this. So it's like, guys, why? Why did you put this in here in the first place? Why would you think a girl wants to date someone that's a misogynist? Really? Like, you can have a jerk and not have him be so sexist. And it's like, I want to give him the benefit of the doubt, but I don't think it was unintentional. And I'll get into that in spoiler section because he says some other things about female characters. But anyway, okay, so this is the end of my spoiler fee review on Zeus's route. If you want to hear my thoughts with spoilers, listen on. But if not, thanks for hanging out with me. Like and subscribe or don't, blah, blah, blah. You guys know the drill. Okay, so let's get into spoilers. Oh boy, okay. I have a lot to say, so I'm gonna start by going back to the whiplash I mentioned earlier, which now that I can be more specific, is the moment where the MC realizes she's in love with Zeus, and okay. Okay, let me scream into a pillow for a moment, and then I'll be good. Okay, for starters, what the fuck was that? So if you don't remember... Amelia is basically like, you've been smiling more since you met Zeus, and it's like, no? No, she fucking hasn't? There's almost no indicators that the MC is anything but stressed and pissed off. And like, this just comes out of left field, and then the MC is like, yeah, every day's been fun. Bitch, where? Where is the fun? The going to the night cafe scene? Maybe, and I'll get to that. But everything else, hello? Like, am I too queer for this? Like, yeah, my attraction to men is different as a pan person to someone who's straight, but surely it's not that different. Like, okay, okay, if there had been more indicators that the MC was genuinely enjoying this, I would still be like, bad taste in men, but okay, valid. But that's the thing, she seems so stressed. And I know I was stressed and exhausted from his shit too, so for this to happen so suddenly was just not well executed at all. If they had just specified, like, the night cafe visit or other things, because I didn't pick up on those other things, I could have understood it more. But they're saying every day, and it's like, no, you haven't given us hints on every day. Like, looking back on the night cafe one, it's like, okay, I guess I kind of see it, but like, ew. Like, maybe we did have more indicators in an earlier draft and they got cut. I don't know. That would have made sense. As I put in my notes, I would understand a gradual change or the MC deciding to try and enjoy this, but she's like, huh, I feel excited. Maybe I'm used to this. And it just doesn't feel organic, especially with how hateful they just were. Boy, this was not executed well, and I had to take a four-hour Animal Crossing break after I read those few parts. So let's move on to story gripes, starting with the storybook sections. I don't think these really detract from the story all that much, but I do have a lot of problems with them. My nitpicky reason is that I don't think all of them are necessary. I do like the opening with the storybook of the prince in the labyrinth, but when the MC just summarizes it again for Amelia, it's like, okay, so what was the actual point? Like, it was all the same info, and I feel like it wasn't super necessary. I wasn't a huge fan of the second storybook moment where the MC gets sucked into one. To be honest, I would have preferred the writers spending that time on Zeus and developing the romance with him, and that brings me to my main problem with the storybook sections. I really think they're just eating up time that could have gone to Zeus. I know, I know, I've been roasting Zeus this whole time, but hear me out on this. These storybook sections, although he's in two out of the three, don't really feel like he's the focus. 
Well, I do like the whole prank aspect in the second one, and I do think that one was necessary to some extent to show that MC doesn't want some idealized Zeus. In general, it's not really specified like romantically or something. It's just like, I don't want an idealized Zeus. And it's like, okay. That was the other moment that I was like, I guess that kind of makes sense. But like, I really don't want to be doing that with the romance. Like, come on. Oh, anyway. So I just think having him act out someone else's romance isn't something we need multiple instances of. And like, seeing him play this character doesn't make me like him more. He's just playing someone else's part. And I wish that time could have gone to just him and not him pretending to be Lucius. With how antagonistic the initial romance is, I really think having some moments of Zeus not being so awful would have made the route stronger. Because the thing is, as much as I don't like Zeus, he's not all bad. He's a complex person, but the problem is, is that this route has just been so focused on just one aspect of him that these storybook sections should have been shorter or cut in order to develop his other sides and introduce them earlier. In a lot of ways, I do think Zeus gets the short end of the stick. His route as the first of this new era of wizardess means he gets a lot of time taken out of what could have been a fun romantic moment to explain the lore or set up mysteries that will come into play in other routes. Now, I don't think this is necessarily a bad thing. In fact, I would assume that this sort of thing happened in other routes, and I do think some of the things they set up in this route needed to be set up in this route. But for me personally, Zeus is such an exhausting and rude guy that I need more time to see nicer sides of him. The time spent on stuff that honestly could wait a route or so takes up space where something else could have happened that would have made me like Zeus more and made my reading experience way less miserable. Like, I just can't stress enough how much pain I was in reading this route. And this was the second time I've read it. And I was still getting as upset as I was when I first read the route. Especially with the weird misogyny and like, I don't know if it was intentional. I don't. I would love to believe that Zeus is just so awkward that his flirting comes out that way, and while that doesn't make it okay at all, at least it explains it. But then he rags on Claudia, who he claims, despite allegedly doing a lot of research into the old kingdoms, just cried and did nothing when, canonically, that's not true. And as I put in my notes, like, even if she did, who are you to judge others? She had a huge loss. Like, I sure as hell would have been upset. So it's like... He's being so awful and critical of Claudia and accusing her of things she didn't necessarily do. Just, it really rubs me the wrong way and doesn't make me want to give him the benefit of the doubt when it comes to misogyny. And of course, things could have changed planning-wise from here to Lucius's route, so maybe he was correct at some point. But that doesn't change the fact of what's become canon and now what that line has the reading of. Like, sure, maybe he was actually ragging on her because she didn't do anything, which I still think that's a little unfair. But... It's canon that she did try to help, so it's like, bro, really? And you've been claiming you've been doing research and you somehow missed that? Okay, anyway, my Claudia defense is over. We're getting off track. We're going back to the misogyny and giving it, like, another example. Like, the whole women are high maintenance comment when the MC wants to change out of her pajamas to his verbal sexual harassment of her, like, come on! Oh my god. Although I did say I have a lot of problems with Zeus, I do think that some of his points in the route were valid. I actually agree with him on the second trial. I think they would have finished faster if the MC paired up with him. And like, imagine. They pair up and the MC is thinking like, oh, Zeus is so loud. Like, I can match him easy. And it works on the first try. And she's kind of doing it in like a making fun of him sort of way. Like a little teasing way. Actually tease, like a sweet teasing way. And Zeus is all proud of himself. Like, you got through this because of me. And she's like... Yeah, you're really easy to imitate, like, it's not hard. And then they start bickering in a fun and non-hateful way. Like, that scene could have been so much fun. And also a huge thing, Zeus's motivations for the Lucia stuff were so good and genuinely kind. I really wish we had gotten hints of that earlier in the route because it's like, the writers did him dirty. I'm gonna say it. Zeus is shown as this awful person and written so unlikable through the majority of the route. And then in like the last third of the story, we see that deep down, Zeus really is a good person. And frankly, I really wish we'd seen some of that kindness earlier. And I'm talking even before the Stargrass scene, like before that even. I want to like Zeus, but this route makes it so hard for me to do that. Even knowing he's well-intentioned in some cases, like... Like, it's incredibly hard to forgive him for everything else and move on past that, like... And while he does get better in other routes, his route just feels like a slap in the face. And, like, not even one done out of spite or anything. It's just, 
hitting you for no reason. Like, I know a lot of his being rude is coming out of a way to be flirty, but, like, I just feel like the way they were bickering was so genuinely hateful. And even if it wasn't, which I guess, you know, some of it wasn't, the fact that it read like that and it wasn't read as, like, a fun kind of teasing bickering way was bad. The thing is, I don't really feel like there's a lot of chemistry with them. And do I think their relationship could work? Yeah, if they go to fucking therapy. Like, this is my problem with Wizardess is that they do make these characters that it's like their stories are so good and then like the romances are like bad. And in this case, I feel like a lot of it is just execution and then weird characterization of Zeus, to be quite honest. And it makes me sad. Like, this route could have been really, really good. And it's like, it just, it, it didn't work. It, it didn't work. So yeah, it's just like, I feel like this route had so much potential. And there are parts in my notes where after reading things, I'm like, oh, like that lighter bickering, like that's really cute. I, like, I vibe with that. And then they go back to the hateful shit and it's like, no, go back, no, go back, go back. Like, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? And <sighs> this route just fucking irritates me. I, I just don't get it. I don't get why he became popular right off the bat. Like, if it had been a little, like, he'd been given some time, that totally makes sense to me. That makes perfect sense to me. You know, he, like, I still think he's kind of a dick in other routes, and I don't care for him. But, like, I get it, you know? When I see people who like Zeus, like, I get it. If you read his route at first, and then you were like, oh, well, I see the promise there, and then you read the other routes, you know, see him grow... I totally get that. Like, that makes perfect sense to me. That's totally fine. But, like, if you just liked him from this route and then you never read anything else, I'm like, how? Like, I make a lot of jokes that I'm too queer for this, but I know other queer people that like Zeus, and it's just like, I... Hello? Hello? Granted, maybe they do like him from his other appearances. We all have our Otome boyfriends who are not very great, and... <laughs> He's that for some people, you know? I mean, I'm guilty as charged in having trashy piece of shit people be my comfort characters. Part of me also feels like maybe Zeus should not have been the beginning of this. Like, hear me out. Zeus does get better over time and he has more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? development as a character and I feel like you know him developing has been nice to see and like he does get a lot nicer and he's a lot less um spiteful he's not as antagonistic as he feels in this route I kind of wish that they had not done him first so then they could have written him softer like a little bit softer like he is in other routes for this being his introduction I really feel like they did him dirty and I'm gonna stop because I'm gonna keep rambling on. So that is my full review of Zeus's route because honestly, even writing this review is draining and now I'm gonna have to go play Animal Crossing or School Idol Festival for a couple hours now. If you've stuck around this long, thanks for staying and listening to spoilers. As a reminder, these are my personal opinions and preferences and if you read his route, I hope to God you have a better time than I did. And you probably will. A lot of people love Zeus and liked his route more than me, so hopefully you enjoy it too. This route just really wasn't my cup of tea, and honestly, I hope people don't hate it as much as I did, because I would feel really sad that, like, you put time into reading this dude and you ended up not liking him as much as I did, and I think that's kind of sad. So you guys already heard me say it, but like, subscribe, all that stuff. Next time I'll be covering Cuff's second route, so I hope I see you then. Bye!